Okay, so we're looking at the zone system chart. And uh, what's important about this to understand, there's a number of things, but um, let's, let's stare at this for a while and understand what's going on here. Because uh, this really is the key to getting your head wrapped around exposure. All right. So now we're talking in terms of black and white here, but it also applies to color. But let's do black and white first. If you understand black and white, you can apply it to color. Um, and the most important thing here, or the place to start, is with the V, which stands for the Roman numeral 5, which is middle gray, or otherwise uh, known as 18% gray. So um, that would be right in the middle of the chart, and that tone of 18% gray is zone 5. Okay, and now... The other, so then you've got zone, going down in exposure, you've got zone 4, 3, 2, and 1, with uh, zone 1 being defined as black with detail. Zone 0 is black, no detail. And that's, a, that's an important distinction. Zone 1 is black with the faintest amount of detail. And zone zero is black, no detail. So at the other end of the spectrum, we have zones six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, with zone nine being white with detail, and zone ten being white, no detail. Okay, so let's see how that plays out in real photographs. Okay, here we have the um, spot meter in the camera, spot metering where the X is on the 18% Lasto Light gray card. And um, X marks the spot meter point, okay? Now, what this is going to do is this is going to put the black camera pretty close to zone 9-ish which is black with detail, and it's going to make the white Fuji Instax printer zone 9, which is white with a little detail. Now, there's, you know, some crossover depending upon, you know, there's different, in the black camera, there's different zones depending upon the light, and the way it's hitting it, same thing with the Fuji Instax printer. And when, if you try to replicate this at home, remember, um, your spot meter point may be linked to your AF point. So if things are dancing around, that's why. And um, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. It works really good if you move your, uh, if you use a center point and then move it around and you, you know, your exposure changes, then it's linked. It could be linked, it could be unlinked. You might have the ability to turn it on, turn it off. With the Fujis, I do. And so uh, this gives us um, an exposure of one second at f5.6 at 160 ISO. And changing any one of those three parameters, because that's your exposure triangle, will change your exposure. But for this demonstration, we're only going to be changing shutter speed to keep it simple. Okay? So, um, so this gave us a, an 18% gray gray card and a zone 9 white Fuji Instax printer and a zone 1 black Fuji XS10. And if we overlay the zone chart over the photograph, you can kind of see where everything fell. And that's kind of interesting. I mean, the gray card... Is the, in the back, the last light gray card is zone 5. The white Fuji printer is zone 9. And the um, black Fuji XS10 is zone 1-ish. Um, so that just goes to show you that your meter is calibrated to give you 18% gray. And what I mean by that is, is if you point your spot meter at a 18% gray card, 
black is going to fall on zone 9 and white is going to fall on zone I'm sorry black is going to fall on zone 1 and white is going to fall on zone 9 and um, and there is a direct example of that so let's experiment a little bit so we take our spot meter and we place the x uh, on the darkest part of our black xs10 and interestingly it gives us an exposure of 10 seconds so it increased the exposure by three and a half stops so we took a black camera and we metered for it and our meter wants to turn that black camera 18 percent gray so if we look at our zone chart our black camera assume it so the meter gave us three and a half stops so that means that where we metered was actually halfway between zone one and zone two in terms of darkness and it moved it up three stops so we went half a stop to zone two a stop to zone three that's one and a half zone four is two and a half zone five is three and a half our spot meter took that point right there and took it from zone one and a half to zone five that's three and a half stops that's that's right in line with with what's going on and hopefully by twisting this around and going inside and outside and upside down it's may it's kind of showing you the interrelationship between the meter wanting to make things 18 percent gray and what is actually 18 percent gray in the world and what's black and what's white and how that affects the meter now let's look at the other side of the scale let's take our white zone 8 9 Fuji Instax printer and turn it 18 percent gray okay so here we metered for that corner where the X is for on the Fuji Instax printer and let's roll, go ahead and roll in our zone chart And so uh, here we see, as the chart comes in, um, we got a quarter of a second. Uh, I'm sorry, an eighth of a second, which is three stops. So that means that our Fuji Instax was uh, recording at uh, zone eight. And now it dropped it down three stops, zone uh, seven, six, five. And now we have an 18% Fuji Instax. The, the problem here is that um, the Fuji Instax isn't really white. It's kind of a pearlescent. I mean, it's not white, white, uh, scientifically white. So, you know, and, and our Fuji black camera is, um, is not black, black. So <laughs> um, if you really wanted to do this, you would have a uh, black card that's uh, calibrated to be black and a white card that's calibrated to be white um, but if you have an 18 percent gray card that will get your exposure in, in so that um, everything records the way it should and that's what's actually happening here the 18 percent gray card metering is recording the fuji instax printer where it should be because it's not really white white it's uh, recording it about zone eight not nine or ten I mean, the highlights are, 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 are coming in at 9 and 10. And you can see that in the other image with the uh, black camera. Like that side of the prism was, uh, was recording at like zone 9 when I bumped uh, the rest of the camera, the dark shadows of the camera, up to zone 5. So hopefully that's not too confusing. This is just a little experiment to kind of show everybody what happens when your spot meter is calibrated for 18% gray and it's trying to turn anything you pointed at 18% gray it changes your exposure and the other side of this coin also is that um, if you understand it this way then just invert it and when you take your spot meter out into the world and you point it at different things um, you know then you can uh, accurately place your tones where you want them to be and it's you know and get a decent exposure for your image 
when your camera sensor has 14 stops of dynamic range, it's not that critical. But when you're shooting film and you only really have eight or nine stops in, let's say, black and white negative film or five stops with uh, Velvia chrome film or Provia chrome film, um, particularly with the five stop chrome film, you really need to know where you're putting your tones. And you know you need to know what elements in your um, image are going to reproduce at and what your tonal range is so that you can uh, take uh, steps to you know make sure that your exposure is within the range dynamic range of your film um, etc and have control over your process and a creative control over your image exposure so hopefully that was helpful uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions i can always make a follow-up video to this I just thought, you know, there was a lot of interest in the original video, and so we'll give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. We'll catch you guys later. Like, subscribe. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.